Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and in this video we are going to fix some bugs that you guys have found. So let's get started. First thing is when we get the Rewild perk and the Chombi take us down, we can actually get up by pressing the control key. And also, before the Chombis come, I will show you one more thing. Uh, so uh, if you're running and we press the control, he will do this little, he goes down and comes back up. Okay, we will also remove that. So let's try this first. First thing. So now when we're down, if we press control, yeah, we can get up like this. We cannot actually move uh, faster, but yeah, it is not supposed to work like that. So let's fix toast first. So we want to go to the PP first person character. So to the blueprints and to here, PP first person character. Let's open it. And then we want to go to the event graph where we are actually already. And we want to find our crouch stand up function. Okay, it's here. And here on the start where we have this branch and all this is displaying and displaying and stuff like that. We want to add here on the end boolean. We want to add two pins here. Okay. And what we want to add here is first we want to get the variable player alive state. Okay. And we want to check if player alive state is equal to zero. Like that. And let's connect it there. And also uh, we want to check if we are not sprinting. So let's get the sprinting and boolean. So like that. So now everything should actually work like they are supposed to work. So let's go and try get the perk. And now let's try the running thing. Oh, this is hard. Okay. Okay, now we cannot call crouching when we are sprinting. But when we stop sprinting, we can crouch again. Okay, that works. Let's see the one with the chombies. We will have to wait a little second. Okay. And now we're down. We cannot get up with the control key. So yeah, those things work already. The next thing we want to fix is, oh yeah, this is a weird one. So where did my game go? Okay, here. So if we are pressing the Wii key and we start to sprint and we quickly press to the left or right or maybe uh, back. Let's see what happens. We can run backwards. This is not supposed to happen. So, and we can actually also do the same, do the same thing, for example, left or right. Okay, so let's fix that. That's as simple as, let's find our uh, the, the, the movement input here. We have actually some testing thing here. Let's move it there. So after the movement input, or actually on the movement input, we want to stretch stretch this a little bit. And actually, let's move that even further. Okay, let's stretch this a little bit more. And now, what we want to do here is we want to add some little codes. Here. So we first want to add a branch like this. And the next thing is we want to get our up down axis. Actually, we can get it straight from here. And we want to check if it's less. Uh, actually, sorry, no, let's not do it like that. First, we want to get if we are sprinting. Okay, so that, yep. And now, if we are sprinting, let's add a yet another branch. We can basically make both of these things to the same branch, but this way it's not always running the both of the like conditions. So, okay, now when we are sprinting, we want to check if the up down axis is less 
than 0.8 for example let's connect it to here let's actually make this look a little bit better like that okay so if we are sprinting we want to check if we are basically pressing up if we are or like if we're not pressing up if we're not pressing up we want to get from the true and stop sprinting like this so now if you release the forward key or you press like backboards or something like that you cannot run anymore it will stop the running or actually the sprinting okay so let's go and see if it, that works it's it should work so if we do like this yeah we cannot do it anymore only thing we can do it to the left and right and that's supposed to be working like that i like it that way i don't know if you guys want it to work like this but i think that's pretty good okay but now we cannot run to the left nor to the back okay that's working correctly so the last thing we are going to fix in this video uh what was it oh yeah uh if we have like when we turn on the power and we can uh what was i doing okay so i will have to get the third gun so i will get the second gun first now i will have the per uh, by the weaponist perk now i can get the third gun now if i have all these three guns the third gun is actually uh, available on the box and it's not supposed to be actually i got it the first time as you can see now i can take it like that and i can have this two times and that's not how it's supposed to work so let's fix that let's go to the interactables folder and to the mystery box let's open it and here what we want to do we want to go to the event graph and here on the event on interact let's go a little bit here on the buy we have this where we check the uh, first person characters weapon slots and we set them as a uh, integers so we will have to add the new variable here so let's move all this uh, after this set integer nodes let's move all this further right now what we want to do we want to copy this bottom node here and paste it here and change this uh, index to three and let's connect from the array to the weapon slots array like that now from the weapon index we want to promote it to a variable like that and let's connect it back to there let's move the variable under the to here so slot one slot two and let's also rename this to what three weapon index okay so now we are setting also the slot three weapon index compile and save and now what we want to do here we want to go where we check those variables so here on the spin box function so we want to actually let's move this a little bit further down bottom one let's copy this not equal node let's paste it here and also we want to get from this uh, top one and connect to the top pin there let's add a pin to here let's actually connect this to the third one and this is the fourth one so it's it looks better and now what we want to do is we want to get the slot three weapon index to here and we want to connect it to, the, it to here okay like that so i will align this Okay, now it's better. Let's compile and save. And now it's also checking the third slot. So we shouldn't be able to do that anymore. I will check it. It is not supposed to happen. But let's see. Okay, now we have this. Now let's get the second weapon and also the third weapon. And do we have all of them? One, two, and three. Okay, so let's see if we can see th these weapons on the box. And as you can see, we cannot see those weapons there anymore. So yeah, everything should be working. If you liked 
this video, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And have a great day and see you on the next one. Bye.